Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to discuss about square of a binomial. This one is an example of a square of binomial. This given is also the same with x plus 3 times x plus 3. So remember, the product of a square of a binomial is equal to the sum of the following terms. First term, squared the first term of a binomial. Second term, twice the product of the terms of the binomial. Third term, squared the second term of the binomial. So to understand it further, let's have an example. x plus 3 squared. Remember, it is also the same with x plus 3 times x plus 3. So first, you are going to square the first term. So the first term in this given is x. So you are going to square it. So x squared is equal to x squared. Next is twice the product of the terms of the binomial. So twice means 2. The product of the terms of the binomial, so you are going to multiply x and 3. That's why we have 2 times, or open close parenthesis, x times 3. And if we simplify it, the answer will be 6x. Why? Because x times 3 is equal to 3x and 3x times 2 is equal to 6x. You are going to simplify first the operation inside the parenthesis, okay? So, x times 3 is equal to 3x and 3x times 2 is equal to 6x. And next term is square the last term. So, the last term here is 3. And if you are going to square it, the answer is 9 because 3 times 3 is equal to 9. So, the final answer is x squared plus 6x plus 9. To make it easy for us to remember this pattern, the way of getting the product of square of binomial is square the first term, twice the product of the terms of the binomial, and square the last term. Let's fill it up. First term, first term, last term, last term. Then simplify. It will become x squared. This will become 6x because 2 times x is equal to 2x and 2x times 3 is equal to 6x plus 3 times 3 is equal to 9. So the final answer is x squared plus 6x plus 9. Okay, so you can use this two way of solving it. Now, let's have another example number 2. m plus 9 quantity square. So, let us use this pattern. So, remember, you are going to square the first term, then twice the product of the first term and the second term, or the twice the product of the two terms of a binomial. So, you are going to write m and 9 here. Next is square the last term. Now, let's simplify. It will become m squared plus 18m because 2 times m is equal to 2m and 2m times 9 is equal to 18m. Then, plus 81 because 9 squared or 9 times 9 is equal to 81. So, the final answer is m squared plus 18m plus 81. Another example, y minus 3 quantity square. So again, let's use this pattern. Square the first term. The first term here is y. Then twice the product of the first term and the last term or the second term. So y here and negative 3 here. Next, for the last term, you are going to square the last term. So, ang last term natin dito ay negative 3. Now, simplify. y squared here because quant uh, y quantity square is equal to y squared. Then, 2 times y is equal to 2y. 
2y times negative 3 is equal to negative 6. That's why we have minus 6y here. Then, negative 3 times negative 3 will become positive 9, so we have plus 9 here. So, the final answer is y squared minus 6y plus 9. Okay, next example number 3. 3x plus 6 quantity square. So again, same pattern. So, first term, first term, last term, last term. Okay, so yun lang yun. Now, simplify. 3x square, it will become 9x square. Why? Because 3 times 3 is equal to 9. x squared or x raised to 2 is equal to x raised to 2. Or x square. Okay, then... 2 times 3 is equal to 6x, and 6x times 6 is equal to 36x. So, you are going to plus 36 here. Next is 6 times 6, or 6 square, is equal to 36 also. So, the final answer is 9x squared plus 36x plus 36. So, it's your turn. Find the square of the given binomials. So, if you are my student, please answer it in your notebook. If not, try to answer it and write it in the comment section. Next lesson, product of a sum and difference of two binomials. Thank you for watching. Happy learning, everyone.